principles of symmetrical components. Okay, so in the previous tutorials, we've been talking about this A operators and some of the benefits of the A operators from the symmetrical components point of view. And in this video tutorial, we'll continue this discussion. Okay, so here's the, the cleaned up version of what we were looking at in the previous video tutorials. In this tutorial, we're going to represent these phasers in matrix form to get a better understanding of what that might look like. First of all, we're going to represent IA, IB, and IC like that. And then we're going to say that we simply have one column and three rows of this matrix, okay? Now that is equal to some column here, right? Effectively multiplied by some column there, okay? And so we need to fill in these this gap. So first let's place our three variables in this column here. Okay, but before we do that, it's important to note that when we get to this point here, we all know that we're using IA, we're using IA as our reference variables. Because we already know that we're using IA for a reference variable, we don't necessarily have to show this anymore because it's already assumed. We already know we're working with IA. We already know that IA is our reference variable. Okay, so with that given said, our three variables are this. I positive sequence, I negative sequence, and I zero sequence. So we're gonna put our three variables in this column here, but we will start with I zero sequence first. Uh, you'll see why in just a little while. And then we'll place I positive sequence right underneath and then I negative sequence underneath that. Okay, so now let's represent these equation in this matrix. So we've taken care of the variables that we're going to use, right? Now we have to fill in all the other stuff. For IA, we know that IA, which is this guy right here, that's going to equal just the positive sequence plus the negative sequence plus the zero sequence. But what this doesn't show is that if we just multiply everything by one, we could represent this in here, right? So we'll start with zero sequence first. So we'll say that we have one there which represents zero sequence. And then we have one there, which represents positive sequence. And then we'll have one there, which represents negative sequence. So IA is equal to one times zero sequence component. So we're talking about one times zero sequence component plus one times positive sequence component plus one times negative sequence component. So we're gonna move this in the middle so that we have more room to work with. So we've taken care of this row. Now let's represent IB. So IB, that's going to equal, let's start with the zero sequence component first. So zero sequence component is right there. So we just have one times zero sequence component, right? So that is equal to one. Now we have to represent positive sequence component. And this was positive sequence component for IB. But remember, now we have to take care of this A operator. So instead of one anymore, now we have to multiply A superscript two operator, which means that this becomes A superscript two, okay? Which represents positive sequence component. And then the negative sequence component, which is this guy right here, that is represented by just the A operator. So that goes right there. So IB is equal to one times zero sequence component. So one times zero sequence component plus A subscript two times the positive sequence component. So I have A here and then multiply that by the positive sequence component plus A times the negative sequence component. So plus A times the negative sequence component. All right, so I see with respect to the zero sequence component just has one right there, okay? And then for the positive sequence component, 
it has just the A operator, so the A goes there. And then for the negative sequence component, the negative sequence component is right there. And then we have A superscript 2 right there. So A superscript 2, which means that IC is equal to 1 times the zero sequence component plus A times positive sequence component plus A superscript 2 times negative sequence component. So A superscript 2 times negative sequence component. And there you have it. So what we what we now get is that this right here is the matrix form representing our symmetrical components, right? This is a very, very common representation in many books and many papers, but this is essentially how the symmetrical components are derived in this fashion. So a lot of the times, this right here, this is represented by A, is equal to this matrix. So I'm gonna put that there. We're gonna stop this video here. Now if you haven't subscribed already, please go ahead and click on the bottom right corner of the screen and subscribe to this channel. If you have any questions there's going to be a link to the forum on the bottom of this video ask away on that particular forum visit generalpack.com for more video tutorials similar to this one thank you